Yeah, so uh, how was your day, man? My day was excellent, sir. How was yours? Uh, I did a 12 hour shift at work. Holy Christ, that's very difficult. Yeah, it was a uh, pretty, it wasn't too bad during the night, uh, but from around 5.30 in the morning until 11.30, it was crazy. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I got one of my co-workers, Philomena, uh, listening in. I actually showed her the website last night uh, at work and uh, showed her all our pictures. So, uh, yeah, she's, uh, going to be, she's listening in today and... Uh, a big hi to Phil, the old pervert, as I like to call her. <laughs> so, so you're talking about numerology today? I, I'm, uh, I just came in on this. Oh yeah, you missed uh, quite a bit of uh, interesting stuff, my friend. Yes, well, I, I did actually capture uh, with the moment I got home. I uh, started recording, so the audio is uh, is there from then, and then uh, just had to get myself together. So I got a good, uh, a good portion from your uh, the, of the beginning of this hour. So, oh, okay. So you recorded the entire the well, entire show? Just just about uh, from from the more or less about five minutes into the first hour or so, or uh, into this hour, I should say. So we are we are we are getting that because I know we for some reason why we we could you couldn't get it on your end, yeah. So anyway, yeah. it's going now. So as soon as the minute I got home, I got I got you know I got that thing. Uh, so it's recording. Okay. Uh, live the the live stream. So, uh, we'll yeah, because uh, what I wanted to do, Howard, was wa wondering if uh, the shows that I do every like three days a week, mm -hmm. if there was if there was some way that uh, you could record them and put them on your YouTube uh, account. I'm sure that I could. Uh, I I just have to uh, figure out. Uh, I'm just gonna have to get. Uh, now you're t what's the time of day? Uh, my time is noon Eastern time. Noon Eastern time. Or even if I record it, I could send you the file, perhaps, and you could well, maybe convert it, it. it. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do because, uh, you know, I actually, uh, again, I'm, uh, my day thing is going on at that time. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll record get, it and I'll send you the, the file. Yeah, record the audio and I'll convert it to video. Yeah, yeah and, do, and get it on YouTube, yeah. sure, of course. Yeah, so just title it uh, Fight the New World Order okay. with CFF. And uh, in brackets, like I'll write it to you, in brackets, whatever the subject is. Great. Okay. And that would be it. Fantastic. And uh, I'll promote your stuff all over my groups whenever you do it and you upload. Like if you do yours on YouTube, I'll promote the shit out of it all over uh, Facebook exactly. and Twitter. Exactly. We'll, 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 we'll knock these, we knock these, kill the New World Order, death to the New World Order, like Harry Link says. And indeed. Really, indeed. And uh, absolutely, uh, my show, uh, the ones like right now, actually this portion of it, we can put on YouTube because I'm filming it as well, so... Um, interestingly enough, I, I got a camera rolling here, so I'm going to be able to film my uh, my whole shows live, um, and then I'll be able to you know maybe do some post work. I'll have the recording, of course, and then the video. I could use the live video as well as maybe uh, things we're talking about. I can you know uh, try to give some visual imagery too. But um, yeah, very happy that I got on when I did because uh, talking about the, the you know getting back to your subject for the for the, for the show. Or, uh, that whole thing, the abracadabra, the, the, the five, you know, the, the five syllable slogans, uh, that the New World Order used, this, that Masonic connection to that whole, uh, thing, uh, is really, yeah. real interesting. I just, I just literally brushed the surface on that, uh, and you mentioned that you were doing numerology. I said, well, what do you think about that, Chris? Well, it's interesting because five symbolizes death. Death, right. Yeah. So when they use these five terms, they are to invoke death. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's scary. Like I said, we don't have to believe it, but they do. And six. And uh, six, two. Yeah. Right? Because, like, you know, like GE, we bring good things to life, you know? Those different yeah. slogans have, the, you know, they, they have these meanings. And um, it's just something I, I just uh, uncovered and really did little research on, and I don't know how how significant it actually is, but it just does seem interesting that there's a lot of these corporate slogans and, and things that have these numbers in, in the syllables. It's really weird. Oh, yeah. And the, one of the biggest ones, not for corporations, but in terms of symbology, is the Statue of Liberty. Yes. The, the, well, that's, it's supposed to be, um, if I remember correctly, the, uh, the guy that made it, um, 
he was well, the three that made it, there were three. Uh, three of them were 32nd degree 32nd Freemasons. Freemasons. That's right. And the five, of course, the, the, uh, the, the it's a, uh, it's an uh, Egyptian, um, or what is yeah. it? It's an Egyptian. Uh, it's, of a, it's, it's actually of a Greek deity. A Greek deity, that's who it was, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then he, he modeled it after his mother's face. Or something like that. Uh, no, or that, that was re that was a uh, debunk. That's a debunk thing. Yeah. Yeah, because it was actually uh, the it was the mother's face and the body of a Hollywood star from uh, about five years prior to uh, uh, five years after the Statue of Liberty was actually sent to America. So it, they they were able. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Mesker. I forget his first name. Jim Mesker, I think. He debunked it. Hmm. Yeah, that that was not the inspiration for the Statue of Liberty, uh, and it, it came out that it was actually, uh, uh, I think it was Diana, the Greek goddess Diana was the inspiration, and it's quite interesting, because if you look at the facial uh, imagery of the Statue of Liberty, doesn't she kind of look like Princess Diana, in a sense? Well, to a certain degree, interestingly enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Um, I... But again, there was something to do with, because uh, again, just uh, loosely looking at this, so I don't have too much uh, research on it, but it, it was something to do with, uh, this, this guy was, they were masons, and uh, there, there are, are symbols inside the statue, and uh, in, you know, in the, like her feet are covered, like there's, there's chains on her feet, but you never see them, and other things like that, strange uh, um, imagery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the robe. I mean, a lot of people are questioning, like, what's under the robe? Not in sexual terms, but they're kind of wondering, like, something is hiding there, you know? Yeah. It's very interesting uh, to look at it that way. I have to definitely do some research in it. Uh, I think there was, a, yeah. there was a decoded done on it or something with... Uh, yeah, that's the one Jim Mesker, I think his name was. Oh, yeah. His name is. Yeah, I... Um, Meltzer, yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah, I think that's the guy's name. Brad Meltzer, right? Or... Brad, that's yeah, it. Brad Meltzer, yeah. yeah. I think there yeah. is a there is was one of them. I didn't I didn't see that. Uh, I gotta catch it. I'll just just because there was some stuff on there. I know that um, you know it, it it was just just something like I said just recently. I noticed that and the, the whole thing with five and death and then all of these different slogans and having these uh, abracadabra being the you know the 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 mantra. You know, it's it's weird. Yep. Um, just very strange and very very creepy because it's. It couldn't be a coincidence. It's just all how, all these slogans, all these companies, all these, you know. It's just really, really, sort of gave me a chill. You know, definitely something to research. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Because you know, man, it's out there. And like I was saying earlier on, and I've said it quite a few times today, they put it in plain sight, Howard. Yeah. You know, to boast and brag about the things that they're doing. That's exactly true, right? You know, like the mole. You know, like this. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Yeah, the Molech building. You've seen the... the, the yeah, oh yeah. It's unbelievable. Creepy freaking thing. That is unbelievable. We got one down here. Oh, you do? Well, yeah, you're, yeah, in, it's, you're uh, in the middle of it over there in Montreal. You got, well... Yeah. You got a lot of that old old, old new world order. <laughs> um, we have a house. Uh, there's a house. It's a mansion. It's in a, a city called La Salle, which is uh, about maybe 10 minutes from where I live. And uh, the fucking mansion, pardon my language, Howard, but the mansion, actually, the outer facing of it is of Moloch. Wow, that is crazy. And the guy, the guy that lives there is a former mayor of that city, LaSalle, is a Freemason, and is the richest man in that city. No kidding. Wow. You should take a picture of that and put that on Facebook, a picture of that, that Oh, house. yes, I'm going to do that. Oh, I'm yeah. going to videotape the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, videotape. Just in it. Absolutely. Yeah. Justin Cook, Useless Eaters, Monday through Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on InformRadio.com. What up, brother? What's going on, Chris? How you doing today? Uh, doing good, man. Doing a, a three-hour marathon on numerology and symbology. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't know it was a three-hour marathon. What's what's going on? Um, what's, what's, what's the story here? What are we talking about now? Well, I covered 9-11 for about an hour and a half. <laughs> Uh, all the weird symbology with the planes and the number of crew members and how they all lead to 9 and 11. And then the Pentagon, you know, was consecrated on September the 11th. Um, I again brought up Larry Rothschild <laughs> with the Yankees. Yeah. And 9 yeah. 
Uh, and of course, by the way, I got that information from Justin Cook while uh, researched. And um, we also talked about uh, famous dates in history that had, like George Bush's speech on 9 11. Yeah, about right. World War. Uh, and then we went further back. You know, we talked about uh, um, other dates in history and a breakdown in numerology in a sense of what these numbers really mean and multiples of them and how the, the New World Order, the Illuminati, use these numbers to bring out their agendas. And I, and I stressed my personal belief. And once again, it's my personal belief, you know, I don't want to like say like, oh, this is the truth, but how, uh, oh, my mic is fucking up, of how I think the date 11-11-11 is going to be the date that ushers in the new age uh, religion mm -hmm. as a world religion, and, and Bluebeam may be a part of it. Yeah, I, I think that's very a definite significant day, and I think that uh, Bluebeam is, is, you know, it's got to happen some sometime here, um, whether it's now, you know, whether it's in this fall, and I, I think either, like you said, uh, 11, 11, 11 is, is a great date for that. Also, 11, 9, 11. Um, you know, and, and, and all, also, of course, uh, the London Olympics, which, of course, will be going on when uh, the 1221 uh, 12 Olympics go on. And that kind of might just be, you know, twelve. The clock, the clock is over, type thing. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm wrestling with these, and, and as far as it goes, any time between now and then, I think it, it's we're gonna see blue beam. You know, the, the, yeah. the, that, or we may see a piece of it on eleven eleven, you know, or around there, and then, and then again, we may see the final part. You know, th th there's no doubt in my mind. They're, they're trying to. to to uh, they've been pre-programming us for this, uh, you know, fake alien invasion. So, yeah, and I I think like it's gonna personally commence on uh, November 9th because it, it's a backwards of nine eleven eleven. Right. Yeah, you know? good point. And we'll yeah and culminate on the uh, 11, 11, 11 date. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Definitely makes a lot of sense. Who else is on Lenny Howard True Tour? Uh, Rabbi C. Yep. What's up, guys? How you doing? How are you, Justin? Not bad. Hey, Justin, why don't you take this opportunity to let the listeners uh, know about your show, man? Yeah, the show is uh, Useless Eaters. Um, I'm a co-host al uh, along with Wanda, Ms. Awake, and Hodo. Um, and uh, pretty much we just get into the, uh, you know, the, the you know, 9-11 truth's a big part of it. Um, we get into a little bit of the occult and whatnot. Uh, Wanda likes to do a lot of anti-vaccination, um, anti-GMO stuff. Uh, pretty much, we, we kind of just break down the, uh, break down what's going on and how it pertains to the New World Order and, how, and you know, and try to figure up as they go along. Pretty much a jack of all, you know, jack of all trades type show. Uh, two, two different outlooks and whatnot. On nine o'clock, uh, Monday through Saturday, you can catch us. So tonight will be our first show at nine. You know, our first reunion show, anyway. But and great, yeah, so. great chemistry too, man. Great chemistry too. You guys got as well. Yeah, ho hopefully we can pick up where we left off. You know, definitely we we got some good good stuff planned for tonight. So some good subjects. <laughs>